Did you know you can load a video to your Amazon brand store? My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. First step, go over to Seller Central and put your cursor on Stores, Manage Stores. That's going to bring up this screen. In here, if you've already built a store, hit Edit Store. If you haven't built one yet, you'll see a Create button or something along those lines. After you go into the store and you, you hit edit, you can then go to any of the pages you've made. A lot of people just have like a single home page that kind of looks like this, and you can load any of the assets like this. But in my case, I've created multiple uh, drop downs for various products. And so I'm going to go over to my social distancing product, which is one of my top sellers. And in here, you can see I've loaded a link to the product, but I've also loaded multiple video assets, and three of them, in fact. So if you're curious if you can load multiple videos, the answer to that question is yes. In this section here, where I've already preloaded this, if I were to add a new uh, module here, um, you can click on the three dot ellipsis and check out a bunch of information about each particular page, the meta description and all of that good stuff. Um, but in here, if you wanted to edit or add another asset, uh, it's fairly easy to do so. So if, for example, if you want to add like a new page, let's go ahead and do that together. So I'm going to hit the add page button. In here, you would just title the navigation and meta description. This does show up on Google SEO, so it is important. And this navigation title will show up and be the equivalent to one of these. Um, <clears throat> there's no right or wrong way to build a brand store, in my opinion. It's just whatever you think is going to help represent your brand. So you could do a product grid, you could do a highlight marquee, blank, whatever you want to do. So let's just select the, the blank one here. And so if I hit add title uh, and hit create page, apparently I got it. Okay, test, test, we're just filling this in for test sake. So in here, I'm going to hit add title. And on the right hand side, you can see I can select a product. I'm going to delete that out. Or I could select an image. And since we're focused on the video, I'm going to scroll down to the video section. So I'm going to hit video and note here, you must have a 640 by 640 pixel minimum. Uh, it's got to be less than 100 megabytes. And they prefer AVI, MOV uh, formats, as well as a few other ones. And then you would, sh you would pick the asset from your library and then simply upload it. You can also load a cover image. I do recommend this. It can be a still shot from the video, and that's fine. Uh, but sometimes it's a little nicer to have like an actual thumbnail. Um, when I started doing thumbnails on YouTube, my click-through rate doubled, so that's how important they can be often. Um, you could do video in different tiles here, so you, mean, you can do a smaller tile video. Notice how I can still pick video here, um, or you know, you could even, I don't think you can do it in the small ones though, yeah. So you can't do it in the small ones like this, so it's got to be one of the bigger modules that can be a little bit more wider and fit everything in there together. So let's go back to the social distancing page so you can see what that looks like again. So I've got the product tile and three video tiles here. And then here is the asset loaded. Let's go ahead and click on the video so you can see what that looks like. Go full screen. A little loud, sorry about that. Pull that audio down. And, and so this is just a casual like look at the uh, wine glass and see it from multiple angles. Gives people some context of the item. There are many different ways you could do a video. And it just depends on like what you're trying to accomplish, right? So I'm gonna pause that. So I had one where I just demonstrated the product. I had another one where I, I hired a dude to pour some wine in it and look at the product. And then I've got one where I just rotate the product. And I use various different videos for different purposes, right? So I might run one as an ad, I might put one on the actual listing. And then in the case of this video, we're loading it to the brand store. So somebody who's really interested in this product would would probably watch multiple different videos potentially. So that's why I have multiple videos posted here. So that's the general idea. That's how you load it. After you do that, you just hit the submit button. Um, there are some guidelines of like what's in the video and sometimes they are a little bit like, hey, you can't put that in your video or you know, no marketing language, that kind of stuff. You gotta be cognizant of those sort of issues. But for the most part, it's pretty straightforward. You, uh, your edits are saved automatically, and then once you're done with that, you just hit submit. You can also preview this, see how it's gonna look on mobile, desktop, and whatnot. Um, but if you're interested in seeing other videos on how to make your brand store, click on this video here. I've got dozens where I talk about how to grow sales on Amazon. Thanks so much.